Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. I am sorry that I was not able to take the class because I wanted to actually do this video and share it with all you guys because um, I wanted this emotion with this JFT and it to come out correctly. I started out with the morning class today. I went to a class and I started out and somehow it was a downer for me. I felt a little down. So immediately as I finished the class, I came out of the rehab and I ran back home. I was sleeping. I was not feeling that good. And because of the weather today, it was raining cats and dogs and uh, crackling down the, those thunders and it was not good. Not feeling very up to it and due to many reasons I started crying today and I cried a lot and I'm not ashamed to say that I cry when I feel that. Yeah, I'm feeling sad, I'm feeling sorry and I want to cry. I, I need to take that out. I can't keep it inside me because uh, I, be, I have come to believe that anything that you push or shove it in you and don't let it come out, let it rip, it's going to cause you a lot of uh, pain in the end. So best is to get it out. So also about today's thought. Because in JFT it is mentioned that today's thought is step one. And it is crucial that all of us understand that step one is the beginning of something really magical that happens in our lives. Because for the first time in the 12 step program, what we do is we accept responsibility for something. And you would then ask me, how do we accept responsibility? This is how we do it. We first accept that addiction has become an issue. We admit that we were powerless over addiction and that our lives have become unmanageable. We admit. We first accept, then admit. So let's just go through with the thought and then we will see how that goes. All right? Yeah. Uh, July the 20th, we admitted that we were powerless over addiction, that our lives have become unmanageable. Step one. The first step begins with a V, and there's a reason for that. There's a great strength in making a verbal admission of our powerlessness. And when we do the meetings and make this admission, we gain more than personal strength. We become members, a part of a collective V that allows us together to recover from our addiction with membership of any a wealth of experience, the experience of other addicts who have found a way to recover from their disease. No longer must we try to solve the puzzle of our addiction on our own. When we honestly admit our powerlessness over our addiction, we can begin the search for a better way to live. We won't be searching alone. We are in good company just today just for today i will start the day with the admission of my powerless powerlessness over addiction i will remind myself that the first step starts with a v and know that i have i never have to be alone with my disease now it's very important for us to remember that each time we admit that I have become powerless in front of my uh, addiction or my life has become unmanageable, it is not I, it is a we. It is not I, it is a we. It is not that I am the only one with this cunning and baffling disease. It is that there is a collection of people, millions of people all around the world that are also afflicted with the same disease that I am facing today. And there is so much information all around the world. And if I'm willing to look for it, then I will get it. And I will know that each and everything that is happening in my life 
I have a solution or an answer for that particular thing with my fellow members, with the people of NA, with the people who are who have successfully come out of uh, this particular disease, not come out, they're still battling it, but they're recovering. And there is a chance of me recovering as well. As I started out saying just before I started this particular uh, session, was that I cried today. I cried today because I was feeling very lonely. I was, sometimes during your recovery, you will feel lonely, you will feel angry, you will feel that what have I achieved in my life? And I needed a spot inventory at that point in time. I needed to write it down somewhere what I had gained in the past 11 to 12 years of my recovery. I started out by, because I was in a very, very, very negative frame of mind today. So I started out with all the negatives. I started out with the things that I had lost. I lost my job. I lost my confidence. I lost my, all the good qualities that I had, which were helping me to get uh, money or earn money have gone. That's what I thought. Then when I started doing it, in a certain way, in a way, I started accepting the fact that these things I have already lost. I don't know, that's how I think that it works for me, because when I accepted that I had lost these things, then came the good part. Then came the parts that I had achieved. But the first thing was for me to admit that I have lost something, to see past that fog of sadness that I had, then I realized that I had achieved a lot also. I have made some beautiful friends online and offline. That's the thing uh, today. Offline, I have made some amazing friendships. I have made, uh, I have done a master's in uh, clinical psychology, which I had never thought that I would be able to do. I have, I have logged on to different courses, but I never thought that I'd be able to complete a two-year-long course on psychology. I have thousands of patients that I interacted with. I have helped thousands of people. And that sort of started working up. It's, you know, pride in me, and it gave me a little power. And finally, I came out of the bed. I took a cup of tea and I came back and I sat down and I thought, well, this is what they say that step one is the beginning. I mean, you have to always sort of come back to step one, start admitting what you, what is wrong, accepting on the things that are not correct in your life to see the better things in yourself, in your life. So, this is all for today. I have, it's been a journey since the last 10 to 11 years, years. And although I do miss my, I, I will never say that I don't miss my alcohol or I don't miss my, I, I do miss it sometimes. I love it. Still do. But that's the dangerous thing. That's the danger that there is. And I need to be reminded every day. So every day when I get up, I remind myself that, listen, you are blessed that in the last 12 years you've not taken any alcohol and you've been able to remain sober and be very careful because alcohol can come back any day without a warning and everything that you've achieved in the last forever time, you will lose. So reminding yourself, not only admitting it, but reminding yourself that you are in a much better place, much more beautiful place than what you were when you were using your choice of drug. It is paramount. It is most important. Keep reminding yourself that today where you are and the good things that are happening to you 
you would have lost if you were still using. Thank you so much. Have a great, great evening. And please give me a thumbs up, like the video, or put in a comment or something so that I feel that, you know, it touched your heart in some way. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.